Hey guys, welcome to my channel where I teach you how to use Google Sheets the most efficient way to make your life easier one formula at a time. In this video we're going to cover the array formula on multiple scenarios and a couple of more formulas that I bet you didn't know about. So without any further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so to start, we're going to define which column we want to do first. I'm going to choose year and this column, so is the other ones, are going to depend entirely from what we input on this column, on date. So every column automatically puts the information I want. And the goal here is that our formulas respond to whether this is empty or not. So if it's not empty, then I get the information from the column I want. But if it's empty, then it's gonna be empty. It's gonna look like this. So to start with our first column, we're gonna use the first formula, which is year. And we're gonna select the cell where the date's gonna be. So in this case it's E3. And we're gonna get this number because the cell is empty. So we're gonna have to put a date here. In this case, let's put this one. And now we have the year. But if we drag this down, these numbers are gonna keep popping up because this is still empty. So we wanna get rid of this. Therefore, we gotta edit this formula to apply a condition. So we're gonna use the if formula and then apply the conditions that we want. So, in this case, if this cell is empty, then leave it empty. If it's not empty, then apply the formula that I want. Enter, and then we drag it down again, and you'll see now it disappears because it's meeting our conditions. So now, if I wanna test this formula, all I gotta do is drag all of this down to get more dates and then just again drag this formula down all the way and we'll see it works but there's a problem because if I'm editing this spreadsheet and I want I don't know put a new row in the first one then it's not gonna get the formula because I haven't copied and pasted it yet so let's imagine for a second that we have thousands of rows and we're inputting new rows in specific dates that we want. It's gonna take a lot of time and it's not practical. So today I'm gonna show you how to improve that, how to automate that using the array formula. So in order to do so, we gotta go into the formula and edit it because now we need to apply the formula that this video is about, array formula. So to start, we gotta know that array formula is always the first one. It's always. So we gotta put it here and then enter. It's not gonna work because our range is just one cell and it's gotta be the whole column, right? So in order to do so, we gotta do this. We gotta add an infinite range, an endless range. So in that way, if you keep adding up new rows, it doesn't matter, it's gonna drag it all the way down always. And these ones have to be the same. So whatever is in here, it's gotta be the same. So in this case, we're gonna do this and now they're the same. And now we can put enter. An error is gonna pop up because the array formula only works individually. So there cannot be anything below it, underneath it. And we have a lot of formulas here, so we gotta erase them all. And then we can see it works. Now if I erase, I can't erase anything. If I drag anything down, nothing happens because the formula is right here. There is no formula here, only here. So now that we've solved the first problem, Let's focus on the second one. And that is, if I add new rows above the cell with the formula is, it's not gonna be of any use for us because the formula is, go is gonna go all the way down every time I add a new row. So here's a trick I know you'll love. We're gonna hide this formula where no one will input anything. So in this case, I'm gonna hide this formula right here in this cell underneath the title. So nobody will edit it. So what we have to do is copy this formula, erase it, so now nothing happens, and then we gotta put it here. Now it's gonna be like this, it's not gonna be in the proper cell because look at the range, it starts at E6. So for this formula to work, it has to start in the same row, it has to be in the same row. So in this case it's the row number 2. So we gotta put instead of 6, we gotta put the number 2 both of them and now we can see it works so if I, I add new rows 
It's always gonna work. I got a new one. It's gonna work. You see? Every time. Oh, and by the way, I always use this row to filter everything. So that way, I have a use for this row, not only to hide, but to also filter. So now that we're done with our year, we can go ahead and start the month. Now for the month, we're gonna be using two new formulas, which I'll explain in a little bit. Now we're ready to start with month. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it here. It's gonna, of course, give us the year because that's what the formula is saying. But for a month, we're gonna use two new formulas, as I said before. The first one is gonna be text, which is allowing us to format the information we want to get. So in order for this to work and have the name of the month, not the number, the name, I'm gonna go ahead and open the quotation mark and put four M's, M, 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 M. So what this tells me is that I want the name of the date in this format, which is the full name. So if I put enter, that's what we get. But now I wanna make all these names be in uppercase. So in order to do so, we're gonna use the second new formula, which is called upper. Now this formula has to wrap the entire text formula in order to work. So we click enter and that's what we get. Now everything is in uppercase. Now there are two new formulas that you can use if you want, which is lowercase and proper case. So the first one, lower, it's gonna be everything in lowercase. And proper, it's gonna make the first letter be in uppercase and the rest in lowercase. Now if you have spaces, the next word is gonna be uppercase, the first letter, and so on and so on. But for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna keep everything in upper. Okay, so that's how we get our month automated. Now we can begin with week. It's exactly the same as year, but you only change the formula. So we're gonna copy it and paste it. We're gonna enter here and edit. So we're gonna change the formula. This formula is called week num. And we click enter. Now in Google Sheets, you get Sundays as the first day of the week. So if you want to change that, you have to put a comma and the number two. So your week starts a Monday. Now we click enter and that's what we get. So now we have also our week automated. And with that done, we can go ahead and finish this exercise with the day. This is very similar to month. So we can just copy everything and paste it and we're gonna have, of course, a month because that's what we are asking for. So in order to change this to day, so the name of the day, so Monday, Tuesday, we are gonna have to put four letters as well, but the same one, so D for day. So one, two, three, four. And now we get the name of the day from this specific date that we inputted. So now that we have all our formulas automated, we can test them. So by erasing everything, we can start inputting our dates wherever we want and you'll see it works. We can add new rows, we can delete rows and it doesn't matter because the formulas are hidden here and they're always gonna work. So if you have any further questions, feel free to leave me a comment and I'll get back at you as soon as I can. Also, I'm gonna leave the link of this spreadsheet in the comment section so you can click on it and it'll take you right here. So you can make a copy of this and start working on your formulas. You can copy the formulas, you can put them in your work, in your current work that you're doing right now in any specific project. So you can start automating formulas now and get more things done throughout the day. So this is it guys. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope this formula helps you. I know it has helped me a lot. I have a new video coming soon, so stay tuned, it's gonna be about automate math operations using the array formula as well. So that's gonna be a really good one. So make sure you like, subscribe, and activate the bell so you don't miss any videos that I upload, I promise. 
This channel is going to be all about implementing Google Sheets in order to improve your efficiency in every way possible. So in this case, all the monthly, weekly reports that you have to do for your office or maybe for your own business are going to be taken care of by itself. So by using the array formula, you do the work once and then everything is done automatically. As soon as the person in charge of updating the information does it, you're going to have everything done by itself. So thank you all again and I'll see you in the next one.